Hey, happy Monday afternoon, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, I have your latest updates on a new data that's coming. Matter of fact, it has upgraded, and I will show you they are expected rapid intensification on this storm. And I'm still showing a potential chance for a Cat 4, even a strong Cat 4, still on the table. I'm going to show you everything, why they're making their decision like this plus the latest intensity guidance. Because you can see here on the latest intensity guidance, they are going way towards now a very strong Cat 1 to a Cat 2, and there's still a few of them up there that's showing it's going to be a major hurricane, a low-grade major hurricane. But the majority of them is showing that it's just going to be a strong Cat 1 to a low-grade Cat 2. Now, they have upgraded to where by the time it gets way out here, it's going to be to 121 miles per hour winds with 150 miles per hour wind gusts. So they have bumped up from 110 to 120. I think it will be bumped up again, even though the models do not suggest <laughs> putting this up here. I'm going to show you why they're saying there will be rapid intensification. There's literally going to be nothing in its way. The winds are going to be pushing it in a great direction. It's going to be favorable under the shear, and it's going to be favorable under precipitation. There's not a lot of dry air out there that's going to get inside this system. So if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year long. Matter of fact, they have upgraded. Now you have the hurricane warning going all the way out towards Tallahassee and further. It's going real further towards Florida and the Panhandle. They even have Tropical Storm Watch going a little bit further, almost towards Panama City. They have that going all the way towards Tampa and further, all the way down towards Sarasota. And you got your Tropical Storm Watch going all the way down past East Naples. Warning, sorry. You also have the watches on the east side of Florida, right past Palm Bay, going all the way north, all the way past Georgia, going into South Carolina, past Charleston for your tropical storm watch. That means within 48 hours, it will turn into warnings when it becomes within 24 hours. Matter of fact, the storm surge has gone up. Now it's going up to 12 feet. So let me show you the latest information that I have for you. I will be quick as possible in this video. But it's just expanding every time I update. Now remember, this link is in the descriptions below along with a few other links. And you can see this according to National Hurricane Center. You do still have the tropical storm warnings out in the blue. The watches are the yellow. And you have the hurricane warnings in the red. Now here's where your storm surge has updated. So now you're expecting 8 to 12 feet in this red right here. It's going to end. So of course, it's going to be going in taking a lot of that surge. You have also five to eight feet in this orange, three to five in this yellow, and a new one right here, one to three feet expected. Plus, you have six to nine feet expected right here in this orange, four to seven feet still for the Tampa Bay region. But now you have three to five feet region right here. Then it goes down to two to four feet and then one to two feet for the south. You also have it on the northeastern side outside of Jacksonville, one to three feet. You also have it by Georgia and South Carolina, two to four feet. So far, storm surge expected. Now you can see this. This is from the Ural. Ural, as a matter of fact, is only still predicting a hurricane, guys. It's come down since a tropical storm, so at least it's done that. But this is the wind gust. But you see, as it goes in towards Cedar Key, as you go in towards Wednesday morning, that if you're going right on the edge, it's going to be a lot of the serious winds. Then as you go a little bit further away, this is where a lot of the storm surge is going to get really rough as well. So I have this link in the description for you as well. You can see all the miles per hour potential according to the Euro. You can also back it up and you can see according to the Euro. You can see according to the GFS. It's a different location. You can also see according to the Icon, which is a five-day model as well. It's showing even more winds going all across towards North Carolina for the coast. And look at these winds, a lot stronger on the wind gust. Now it's picking up over 110 miles per hour wind gusts on the Icon model going all the way inland. And that would be more like what you would see on a major hurricane landfall. So if you're going to use it, I suggest using the Icon model so far for today. Also have your storm surge inundation link in the description below. You can see it here that you have a greater than six feet in all the orange, greater than nine feet in all this red. And you can see how much it has grown along Florida for all this storm surge inundation. And it's still showing it also all the way into Tampa Bay. Still showing above six feet in this orange and no red yet, but I expect to see some red in there sooner or later as it gets a little bit closer. It's gonna be a lot of storm surge coming in 
for Tampa Bay. So just be aware, you're not only dealing with just a storm surge, which was like that for Ian last time, you had just the surge. This time you have the winds as well. So just be careful for that. Also the precipitation, I have the link in the description below. It has not updated much. It did move a little bit further to the east with the six to 10 inches expected. You can see it right here in the orange for the panhandle of Florida. Also over here for the Tampa area, six to 10 inches expected. And it did go a little bit towards the coast for South Carolina and North Carolina. Now you can see with the Euro, it finally come off tropical storm and it brought it in towards a hurricane status. So at least the Euro is starting to catch up a little bit with that, but it's still not showing a major hurricane. It's showing a strong hurricane, but not a major hurricane. GFS is still taking it to a major Cat 3 hurricane. Has not changed. And even the Icon model brings it all the way down to a 968. So that is very close to a Cat 3. That's a strong Cat 2. That's also why I'm saying if you use the Damage and Wind Gust zoomable map in the description below, use the Icon model. It is showing a very good scenario of what we're looking at. It is showing more of a landfall towards Cedar Key. GFS is going further to the west with it, and the trend has been right to the west of Cedar Key. But I'd like to point out that the icon is also just suggesting that after it goes over land, over Florida, that it will remain a hurricane the whole time while it's on the coast by the Carolinas leaving out. Now the hurricane analysis forecast system A, the one that's been looking like they were the one they've been going by. It is showing that by tomorrow you will be having that hurricane and as it goes towards landfall, it will be a Cat 3 major hurricane, but it is taking it as a strong Cat 3, going all the way down to a 951 millibar, very close to a Cat 4. Now let me explain to you why there's going to be rapid intensification, guys. So as it makes its way into the Gulf, it's going to get let go from this high pressure, putting pressure onto it, and it will get away from the upper level low. Then the flow is going to go from the southwest to the north, northeast, and just give away to this system, and it's going to start flowing towards Cedar Key, right towards Big Bend of Florida. And this is where it has all the time to rapid intensify all the way to Florida. And you can see here with your wind shear that once it goes in that direction, it is going to be in favorable conditions to rapid intensify. It's not going to have a lot of shear on this system. It's going to be going with the flow in general speaking, guys. All the way till it gets close to landfall, then it starts getting sheared up at the last second. Plus, not only that, it's going through all this deep ocean heat content, doing the upwelling, bringing up warm waters while it's doing that. Then it's going across the very warm sea surface temperatures that we have in the Gulf, especially along the coast. So it's just going to be rapid intensification from the storm. Once it gets away from this high pressure, it's going to start moving north through the deep ocean heat content. The flow is going to blow it in that way. The shear is going to be going with it, not against it. And it's going into warmer waters. Nothing is going to stop this storm from becoming that potential Cat 4. I guarantee you, I really believe in my heart that by tomorrow, we could see the Cat 4 on there from National Hurricane Center because of all this information. You can even see that there's no dry air getting in this system. I did see some people on YouTube saying it's going to be dry air and it's going to weaken it down. It is not, guys. It has nothing but precipitation in this atmosphere and it will help it grow and feed this storm to intensify. It will not be dry air getting within this system. It has nothing but moisture in front of it. Matter of fact, when you look at a hurricane analysis forecast system, B. This one's the one that's been showing a strong Cat 4 all day long, even yesterday. It's still showing a strong Cat 4, still a few millibars away from an actual 5, guys. I still think we have a good potential for getting a Cat 4 hurricane. Matter of fact, they have it to 121 miles per hour sustained winds. Now they have bumped it up. A Cat 4, guys, would be up to 130 or more. So it's not far from being a Cat 4 hurricane. I really believe that tomorrow we're going to wake up. They're going to show this potential for this Cat 4, even a low-grade Cat 4. But I think they're going to show a Cat 4 chance for a hurricane, guys. This one is showing that it will get down to a 926 by the time we go to 10 a.m. on Wednesday. That's just a few millibars shy 
of a cat 5 and it's been showing this all day run after run matter of fact when you take a look at it they have it as a cat 3 121 miles per hour sustained winds a cat 4 is 130 they have it on landfall a cat 1 which is 74 miles per hour winds cat 1 hurricane at least they have it as a 92 96 is a cat 2 hurricane at landfall right here guys this is going to intensify to a four and then go down to maybe even a stronger cat two and then it's going to take a while something that big that strong is going to take a while to slow down i believe that we will see a four and then maybe a two right here this is only a few miles per hour from a two now from what they're saying and we're still days away it's just now getting into the gulf and we'll keep you updated thank you so much for your time guys Tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you see the argument that I'm putting out with the information that I see, with the information that it's going to need to get that much more, and what's in the way of this storm, what's going for this storm with the precipitation, the shear, the direction, and the temperatures? Tell me what you think. I do value all y'all opinions. Thank you so much for the comments. Y'all really are a beautiful group of people. I'm just trying to give you some straight facts of what could potentially happen as we go into tomorrow. How much further it actually has to go to intensify. I lived near the Gulf my whole life. All y'all near the Gulf, do you know any storm that had this much room left with favorable conditions and did not intensify any stronger? Please let me know. I'm very curious what y'all say. Now tonight I wanna to read to y'all Luke 6. 30 through 38. Give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. For if ye love them which love you, what think have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. And if ye do good to them, which do good to you, what think have ye? For sinners also do even the same. And if ye lend to them of whom ye hope to receive, what think have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest. For he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Amen. Have a great night, everybody. I hope everybody's safe and sound and ready. And remember, if you don't have to go hundreds of miles, if you are in this region and you can't leave, you don't can't go to a shelter for some reason, you have nowhere to go. All you got to do is just go, you know, 20, 30 miles in another direction. Just get away from that storm surge. That is going to be the real problem maker. If you are power dependent, you need to go to a shelter, especially if it is medically power dependent stuff all glory always goes to god our father in heaven yahweh and i pray he keeps y'all safe every single day of your life you and your families and your neighbors forever <laughs> amen <laughs> hallelujah keep us safe father well, this is one nasty looking hurricane. I'll see you all in the morning.